In Rome Fantasy Packs 1 and 2 in Unity, we have special shader capability that allows you to paint on mesh decals that I've included in the pack. So for example, if we go to Quantum Theory, Rome, Exterior, Meshes, Decals, we have a bunch of these simple mesh decals we can place on buildings and on other surfaces in the world. So I'm going to grab this decal 6 meter here and just drag it into the scene and I'll just make sure it's on the ground. So you can tell this is a flat plane that's right on top of that dirt ground terrain. There's no Z fighting and right now it has a hay decal material associated with it but I'm going to swap that out. If you go to Quantum Theory Rome Exterior Materials you have a number of decal materials to pick from. Some of these may only exist in Rome Fantasy Pack 1 namely this cobblestone so let's just drag that in and drop it in there so now we have this nice parallax cobblestone material but we can make that look even more cool if we switch to the asset store and search for polybrush you can download this free vertex editing tool by unity just import it in your project and now what we're going to do is we're going to do some vertex painting on this actual decal mesh here to control our unique shader properties. So once you've imported that into your project, go to Tools, Polybrush, Polybrush Window. And this third button right here, which lets you paint vertex colors, let's just click on that. And if we hover over the viewport, uh, you might see your uh, concentric circle brush and then the mesh is doing some really cool things. <laughs> um, for now, let's uh, create a new color here. And let's make sure that's white and alpha set to 1. And just hit the plus button to add that color to the palette. And now I'll do another color mask, go black, and set the alpha to 0. And hit the little plus button. That'll be like a clear, transparent kind of uh, button there. Now what this decal shader does is with each color channel of the vertex colors it's going to give you a different effect. And fortunately in Polybrush we can isolate the color channels here. So I can turn off green, blue, and alpha. And now if I drag in I'm just getting I can paint I can paint these stains. It's kind of just like a, a darkening on the surface. And we can control that stain power inside the material here. Right, we can go 0 to 3. I'll just use 2 as a default value. And if we turn on the green channel and the color mask, we can control the visibility of that decal. Now I'm going to bring the radius down. I'm going to bring the strength down to about 30%. Now I'm going to start painting very lightly in here. And you can see what's happening is the stones are starting to fade kind of naturally, right? And you could just paint all day with this kind of stuff and you know naturally kind of fade off and distribute these really cool parallax stones like that, you know, make the border a little bit more natural. Like that. Also, if you switch to the blue color mask, and I'm gonna turn this strength way back up, you can actually paint puddles. Right? If we paint wherever it's uh, opaque, wherever there are stones, the, um, the puddle will paint in between the stones themselves. And if we go, let me turn off this, turn down the parallax. Oh, that's the puddle height. <laughs> we'll turn down the height scale of this so we can see a little better. Now if we adjust the puddle min height, we can kind of ramp up and down the, the amount of water you see. And the fall off kind of adjusts how tight or how um, how much the puddle influences the rocks, right? And lastly, we have the alpha color mask. This just adds smoothness to the rocks. So I can make these rocks over here a little bit smoother, um, or I can make these rocks that are underneath look wet, right? So you can do some really cool stuff here. And let me close that down. And let's switch out and do um, 
Oh geez, I don't know. Cobblestone, concrete, uh, craggly rock would look cool. So we have the craggly rock with the vertex colors I just painted. And by duplicating these meshes all over your scene and changing the materials, you can create all kinds of cool combinations. Check out the demo scenes for examples of everything you can make.